A King 5 report looking into PFAS levels in wells in a neighborhood in Kitsap County got us wondering what are the health consequences and should we be worried? Well, doctors say the answer isn't simple. Let's start with what PFAS are exactly. Short for polyfluoroalkyl substances, they are a set of synthetic chemicals found in certain stain and water resistant products, nonstick cookware and food packaging, also a type of firefighting foam that is now banned in Washington. It can even be present in tap water. We are finding elevated levels in multiple areas, especially those close to industry, firefighting operations, airports. Dr. Bonnie Ronish is the clinic director of occupational and environmental medicine at UW Med. She says PFAS take a long time to leave your body if they're consumed, but they're not forever. We do know that your body will take care of it on its own over time. So we know that PFAS actually decreases in the bloodstream as time goes on. Exactly how much time is unknown and it's still a health concern. What are some of the more telltale signs that you might your health might be affected by it? So the answer is there really isn't. Um, there's nothing that I can point to that says you have PFAS exposure. But there are links. Dr. Ronish says PFAS can possibly increase the risk for certain conditions like higher cholesterol levels, a decreased response to vaccines among children, high blood pressure among pregnant women, testicular and kidney cancer, and thyroid disease. You can tell that all of these things are very common in the general population. So it's very difficult to say PFAS caused this, but we know that there's an increased risk beyond what we'd expect in a general population. Further complicating things, the CDC says the body gets rid of PFAS naturally, mostly through urination over time, but it cannot be directly removed. We can't take it out of the body. We can't chelate it. We can't get you to pee it out. We can't do anything about it, right? We All we can do is reduce the exposure. So that leaves us with prevention. The State Department of Ecology monitors PFAS contamination in drinking water wells. Ronish says be aware of which areas might have higher PFAS levels and pay attention to the products you use. We want to fix it. We want to change it. We want to help people avoid it. But this is not something that should be causing panic. There is a blood test to detect PFAS levels in the body, but the CDC says even that can be limiting as it will be unclear if the results are definitively linked to possible health effects. For more resources on all this, look for this story in the Health Link section of King5.com. I'm Christine Pei for Health Link.